Hello and welcome. You're with IndiaPostLive.com, India's first live interactive web television. This is your very own platform where you can discuss issues with us as we speak simply by clicking on a participation button. You can post us your thoughts, you can send us your video comments and of course tweet us at hashtag IndiaPostLive and at the rate IndiaPostLive. I'm Nilanjana Banerjee. 30 years ago, on the 31st of October 1984, a little after 9.15 in the morning, Prime Minister Indira Gandhi was assassinated. More than 30 bullets were pumped into her. This was a retaliation of Operation Blue Star. We are going to talk about what happened next. Right from the afternoon or early, af early evening of that very day till the late into the night of 3rd of November 1984. Those three and a half days will be etched as the most traumatic days in the history of Six. Traumatic just might be an understatement. What was worse was that there seemed to be a total abdication of responsibility on the part of the Indian state. In fact, there were allegations that the entire pogrom, as many people have called it, was done with collusion, was done with brutal and clinical synchronization. 30 years have gone by. 10 committees and commissions have been set up. There have been compensations. And now recently, after the new government came to power, Home Minister Rajnath Singh announced that besides the compensation that has already been given, 5 lakh rupees each to the family of each victim would be given. Is that just lip service? Is it keeping in mind the assembly elections in Delhi? Will the wound ever go away? Have people begun to move on? And is money enough? Has justice been served? Or is justice delayed, been justice denied? We are going to talk about all those issues. First, let us begin with an account of one of the victims, Gyan Kaur, who recounts the horrific story of how she lost her entire family 30 years ago. Take a look. My brother, my son, four brothers, my son, 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 and my son, 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 बड़ा भाई मेरा एक थोड़ा सा बचा हुआ था उसने अब्दुली चंद ने उसको छुरा मारा था मैं चुन्नी उठा के अपने बांधने गई थी भाई को सब लड़कियों को ये पकड़ रहे थे चिल्ला गांव से सबसे नई नई लड़कियां छोटी छोटी उम्र की बहुत बेदी थी कुछ बता नहीं सकती मैं इन्होंने जाल मुने हमें आज तक कोई इंसाफ नहीं दिया छोटे छोटे बच्चों को मार दिया बड़े बड़े बच्चों को मार दिया मेरा बेटा घोड़ी पे चढ़ने वाला था आठ दिन रह गए थे आठ दिन में मेरे मेरा कलेजा खत्म है मैं तो बीमार रहती हूँ चौबीस घंटे कोई भाई नहीं रहा कोई मैं छह बहन ऐसी विधवा है चार मेरी भाभी है विधवा बच्चे जवान चले गए हमारे क्या करें हमारे को आज तक इंसाफ नहीं मिला गवर्नमेंट से हमें इंसाफ चाहिए किसने मारा ऐसे पूछते हैं हमारे से अब क्या उनको जवाब दे बेटा दंगा हुआ मार गई पब्लिक कौन पब्लिक थी कौन जाती पता नहीं बेटा क्या जाती पब्लिक कौन सी थी अब क्या उनको क्या बताए बाकी हमारे साथ जो दिल्ली सरकार ने आज तक हमने चिड़िया मरती नहीं देखी आज हम सारी सरदारों की तबाही कर दी इन लोगों ने कभी देखा नहीं था हमारी मम्मी पाकिस्तान की बताती थी तो अब तो हम उसके बताते थे कहते मम्मी क्या हुआ कोई जिंदे को कोई मार सकता है साथ कहते बेटा मारा था मैं कहते नहीं मम्मी हम टाल देते थे उसकी बातें आप तो ऐसे ही बातें अब हमने आंखों से देखी है ना हमें पूरा यकीन आ गया भी हाँ वाकई मारा होगा पाकिस्तान हम हिंदुस्तान के बच्चे हैं यहाँ के Thousands of people died, in fact almost 3,000 people in Delhi itself and as you have just seen, the wounds seem to be still raw. We are going to talk about the justice, whether justice has been meted out or not. We are going to talk about whether people have been able to move on or not and what is the best 
way forward for all these victims uh, to move forward. Okay, I have with me in the studio uh, Mr. Khushdeep Sehgal. Hello. Hi. Uh, Mr. Sehgal is yeah. a senior journalist and he runs a blog called uh, deshnama.com. Uh, Thank you so much yeah. for joining us. Uh, I'm also joined online uh, by some uh, wonderful people. In fact, I have Jasbir Singh who joins us from Sydney in Australia and he works with the Department of Justice in Sydney. Uh, Mr. Jasbir Singh, welcome to India Post Live. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, thank you, Mr. Thank, thank you, Paul. Thank you. Please call me Nilanjana. Okay. Uh, we also have Dr. Amandeep Bes. He joins us from Ludhiana in Punjab. He is a, a, so a social activist and commentator. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. All right. We are hoping to have other guests as well. But let me first start with you, Mr. Sehgal. You, we just heard Gyan Kaur and... Uh, really? <laughs> You know, the wounds seem to be still raw. You know, when you're seeing your own, own family yeah. members being killed yeah. before your eyes. Yeah. Nilanjana, I don't think I'm less than 1984 from 1947. That time, there was a partition. When we heard the partition, we heard that it happened. But in 1984, Sikh families were also uprooted from Pakistan. They were killed again. They were killed again. उस टाइम आपने 1985 में राजीव गांधी ने कहा था जब कोई बड़ा पेड़ गिरता है तो धरती हिलती है ये धरती 30 साल से हिल रही है इन सिखों परिवारों के लिए 30 साल से जिनके अपने बच्चे इनकी आंखों के सामने मार दिए गए 2009 में दिल्ली हाई कोर्ट ने एक रूलिंग दी थी वो सबसे इसमें जानवर ये मदर ऑफ कवरअप्स जितने भी हैं ना 30 साल में कोई इन्वेस्टिगेशन किसी बड़े नाम को सजा नहीं मिली सिर्फ छोटे-मोटे नाम तो उस टाइम हाई कोर्ट ने कहा था कि हम कहते हैं कि हम दुनिया का सबसे बड़ा लोकतंत्र है लेकिन यह ऐसा बदनुमा दाग है जिसमें दिल्ली पुलिस स्टेट मशीनरी पूरी इन्वॉल्व थी पूरी इन्वॉल्व थी भाई अब 4 दिन तक 31st अक्टूबर नाइट से लेके और 4th नवंबर तक पूरी दिल्ली दिल्ली क्या और भी जहां पे भी मेनली जहां पे कांग्रेस की गवर्नमेंट थी वहां पर ज्यादा स्टेट्स में टोटल 3325 लोग मारे गए दिल्ली में 2733 तो ये आज तक और क्या किया हमने इन्वेस्टिगेशन के नाम पे क्या किया हमने 10 कमीशन बिठाए लेकिन क्या रिजल्ट निकले सबको सामने है किसी बड़े नाम को आज तक कोई सजा नहीं मिली सिर्फ जो 49 को लाइफ टर्म हुआ उसमें भी एक तीन लोग थे जिन्हें 10 साल से ऊपर है अच्छा इनमें पांच लोगों को तीन लोगों को तीन लोगों को फांसी सुनाई गई थी लेकिन वो सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने जिसमें एक वो किशोरी लाल बड़ा बूचर ऑफ त्रिलोकपुरी कहते हुँ, थे हुँ, हुँ. उसका भी नाम था लेकिन वो भी पलट गया तो कोई ऐसा जस्टिस जस्टिस डिलेड इज डिनाइड वही वाली बात यहां पर कोई जस्टिस नहीं वही आप जितना मर्जी मुआवजा दे दीजिए जितना मर्जी दे दीजिए लेकिन ये गांव पे मरहम नहीं लगने वाला एक दिन आंदा मैं और करेक्ट करना बात हूं ये जो अभी 5 लाख हुआ है ना आज इन्होंने डिनाई कर दिया कि हमने ऐसा भी कोई डिसीजन नहीं लिया क्योंकि मॉडल कोड ऑफ कंडक्ट है तो उसके बाद जो जैसे मनमोहन सिंह ने गवर्नमेंट ने भी 2006 में 2006 में 3.5 लाख रुपए पर उसमें 717 करोड़ रुपीस का पैकेज दिया था आप पीटी देखिए उसमें से 200 करोड़ आज तक ने डिस्ट्रीब्यूट किए जा सके कि वो क्लेम उसके वेरिफिकेशन ही नहीं हो पाए तो ये सब लिप सर्विस होती service. है इसमें कोई जब तक आप बड़े नाम जो सब जानते हैं कौन नाम थे सब जानते हैं कहने की कोई जरूरत नहीं है कि किसे सजा मिली किसी को नहीं बड़े नामों में ऑल राइट लेट मी दैट वाज योर ओपनिंग कमेंट थैंक यू सो मच मिस्टर सेगर लेट मी गेट जसबीर सिंह नाउ सो जस्टिस डिलेड इज जस्टिस डिनाइड डू यू बिलीव दैट जस्टिस हैज बीन डिलेड और हैज देयर बीन नो जस्टिस एट ऑल uh, actually, I don't believe there is any justice. Okay. Uh, first, I will talk about it in the second. Uh, it matter that this can be compared with 47. 47 is a very big specific in terms of um, uh, the number of deaths. Yes. But there, two sides were uh, having, I mean, arms and they were fighting and keeping each other. But here the government was taking 
arms from one side and giving to the other one. The police was uh, inactive and, uh, and judiciary, they were just quiet. But this, is, this can be paired with the trustees in the Bangladesh, not the 47. Bangladesh inside and the inside is at the same level. For just to say, communication, you know, and what they actually found. They started SIT in the Gujarat. Yeah. And what they found, they tracked the phone lines and everything there. And here, no phone record. Nothing. And so many things, they just they did not even register FIR. And then the FIR, there were just two lines. Crowd came and killed these people. How can someone be prosecuted on the basis of. And judges gave comments like that. Uh, when the journalists asked them uh, one of the name, I think, yeah, just of yeah. If it can't you see the people killed in the Punjab, and why we work in the justice system, we were told that the other case when we were doing the other one case. Okay. Okay. Let me let me just get. Let me just get opening uh, comments from Dr. Amandeep. Uh, Dr. Amandeep joins us uh, from Ludhiana and he's a social activist. Uh, mm -hmm. my guest, both my guests here, uh, one all the way from uh, Australia and uh, my other guest, Mr. Sehgal, feel that uh, there has been no justice, the wounds remain raw and the fact that the perpetrators have gotten away scot-free is a blot on Indian democracy. Your comments, opening comments, Dr. Bez. Uh, uh, thank you, Nilanjana ji and India Post Life for uh, bringing this issue uh, on your program. Um, I have to say three things. One, uh, in British India and our free India, the conviction rate is minimum after these rights. The minimum, bare minimum conviction rate, uh, whatever government did. So, justice uh, apart, and their own commissions, seven, eight commissions they had, till now, they haven't even implemented their own recommendations by their own commission. Hmm. So, nothing was done till date. It was complete farce. And above all, I mean, people, I mean, so people ask about justice delayed or justice denied. Even the officers who were responsible, they were promoted. So there is no big example of a joke with the community, I think, who proudly love this nation and uh, who, who always given their blood for this nation. People are wonderful, the country is wonderful, but this is, I'm talking about the government at that time and the consecutive governments till now. All right, all right. Uh, let uh, me... All right. Uh, uh, let me just, uh, you know, uh, Mr. Sehgal, let's take a quick glance at some of those uh, commissions that were formed, that were constituted. And uh, in fact, there were 10 of them. Yeah. And uh, r starting right mm. from November mm. 1984, the first commission was the, the Ved Marwa mm -hmm. uh, Commission. Mm -hmm. And in fact, let's take a look. That's coming up on your screens mm. right now. Uh, some of the highlights. The Marwa Commission was appointed in November 1984, but the report was not allowed to be submitted, submitted. at all. It was not made public at all. In fact, his handwritten notes, which were, it was transferred to the Mishra Commission, but the handwritten notes of Mr. Mr. Marwa were not uh, given. This was the uh, Mishra Commission appointed in uh, 1985. Uh, the report was criticized by the PUCL uh, and, and they were the ones who actually yeah. did this very, very uh, detailed investigation mm -hmm. into the uh, riots. Then came the Kapoor Mittal Committee appointed in Feb 1987. It submitted its report in 1990. 72 police officers were identified and it recommended dismissal of 30 police officers out of those 72. Till date, a single police officer has not been awarded any punishment. So there you have it. I mean, that's the kind of action and all those. Okay, finally, we come to the, the last one, the Nanavati Commission, which was established in 2000. Uh, and this was passed through a unanimous resolution by the Rajya Sabha. And it was headed by, of course, Justice uh, Nanavati, retired judge of the Supreme Court. The report was submitted in February 2004. Now, of course, in many of these reports, uh, 
it said that a closer look must be taken mm. into the acts of some of the very senior Congress leaders. There was evidence, it said, against Jagdish Taitler that he mm. had a hand, Sajjan Kumar also. It cleared Rajiv Gandhi and other high-ranking Congress mm. uh, party members of any involvement. It also said that the police fired 392 rounds of bullets, remained passive, did not provide protection to the people throughout the rioting. Mm. Now, that itself is very damning, if I may use the word. So all these uh, committees have been formed, the Jain Banerjee Committee, the Poti Rosha Committee, Jain Agarwal Committee, the Ahuja Committee, the Dhillo Committee, the Narula Committee. All these committees have also been formed besides the commissions. To, totally, there are about 10 of them. And uh, you just talked, mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Sehgal, that 49 people have been convicted. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, I'm now joined online by uh, Mr. Harry Sajdeva. Mr. Harry Sajdeva is the producer of an upcoming film called 31st October. The film stars Soha Ali Khan and Veer Das. And uh, Mr. Sajdeva, thank you so much for joining us on India Post Live. Thank you so much, Najla, for having me here. Great. So, can uh, you hear me? Yes, I can hear you clearly. Thank you so much. Uh, your film is uh, releasing early next year. It's releasing uh, uh, at the time of the film festival in Berlin. Am I right? Correct, correct. Through world premiere. Berlin. Great. Yep. Okay. Uh, obviously, uh, quite a few eyebrows were raised. Veer Das is a comedian, and you know, obviously, the subject of your of your film, 31st October, 1984, is a serious uh, and quite a painful subject for many people. Tell us a little bit about the film and your sensibilities while you were making that film. Uh, it's, it's a true life story of a one night. Okay. It's a, it's a that unfaithful night when the 31st October mm -hmm. when Indira Gandhi assassination the aftermath of the riots which took place. Mm -hmm. So uh, this film talks about a very straight clean story. Uh, can you hear me? Yeah, I cannot yeah. hear you. Please go on. Yep. Yep. So it talks about a story of a family, what it goes through and the family members, what they go through that unfaithful night. Mm -hmm. And and um, and it's 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 you, we were talking here riots and riots again and again. I'll say it's not a riots. I'll call it a pogrom. Because rights is again between two communities. Here, we've never six never got a chance to fight back. They were in their houses. People came in. They ransacked. They killed us. They murdered us. They burned us alive. And they looted us and they went back. Where is the rights? There is no rights here. Hmm. So this film is only clearly talks about uh, a message. Uh, please excuse my cynicism. I, I'll say that the message was very clear that the people who thought that because of this right, Sardars and Hindus going to be, you know. You're going to be differences between these two communities. They failed there and then. Right. There were there were many Hindus who helped Sardar survive that night. Absolutely. Otherwise, the amount of people that would have been died would have been extremely high. Hmm. I, I remember me and other family members surviving because of the few Hindu friends which give sheltered us and which really risked their life, saving our lives. And, and and the sole intention of making this film, taking to a world premiere or taking to across the world, is that when uh, when you you give a message that this massacre which happened, uh, this actually didn't benefit any individual community or a country. So why do we have this genocide? Why do we have this program? Had there been any, 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 you know, any, uh, any benefit company or community or humanity would, humanity would have had, we, we should not attempt such sort of programs or genocide. And once you watch the film, you'd get a, whether it's, it's a message for all the youth and the youngsters who would be watching this film and taking it as a lesson in the history, a chapter which happened, which was very unfaithful and not at all acceptable on a humankind. All right. Um, uh, Mr. Sajdeva, if I may also ask you, you know, a very senior uh, person, a very senior respected actor in your own industry, uh, you know, in fact, there has been a certain court case, there has been a summons, uh, you know, of uh, where he has been accused of indicting and, you know, abetting uh, the violence. Uh, in fact, uh, you, what do you have to say about that? I mean, you talked, you said, why do these things happen? What is the point? But, you know, when there are, when people get emotional and people get passionate, sometimes people don't think very clearly. So there was apparently a statement attributed to him, khun ka badla khun se lenge. So, you know, statements like that made by artists 
who are supposed to be more sensitive. Uh, what is your comment on that, sir? Uh, I would just say that, that it's, it, they're not in the sense, honestly speaking. Yeah. They're just speaking because they flow in the emotions. Yeah. They don't understand what harm it could do to the other community or a humanity. Right. Ultimately, it's loss of human lives. It's not loss of Hindu lives or Sadar lives or Muslim Sikh lives. It's a human life. And human life is precious. And we've got to respect that. What kind of research That's did you do for the film? How many people, how many victims did you yourself meet? Close to 200, yeah. I, I, I closely work with Widow Colony. This is Widow Colony here near Harinagar in Delhi, where uh, 84 rights victims, widows stay here. Okay. And me and my family was uh, also part of that 84 rights uh, massacre. I was very young, seven year old then. I wish I had faded memories, but those memories still haunt me. I will still remember that one fateful night when I was peeping through the hole hmm. and uh, I saw the sadars being tied upside down to a tree with their hair untied. And they said, either you get them cut or you get them burned alive. They, all of them refused to get that cut. So we, we saw some, I saw something which really gave me goosebumps as now also. And, and to, to be very honest and very frank, uh, my dad, he really suffered a major heart attack during the Roy's time. And he was undergrounded for almost one month, two months, where he penned down a lot, a lot of incidents which he went through. And mm. my other family members who really died and, you know, who were the victims of 84 as well. Mm. So the inspiration was all those, all those, uh, you know, 200, 300 pages later, which I had to convert into a script and a real life story, which I had put across to all the audience. Obviously, a lot of personal emotions there, which you are going to be translating on the screen. But Mr. Sajdeva, yep. there has to be a way forward. There has to be a way to move on, isn't it? It's been 30 years. Yep. The wounds, I understand, are raw. You still get nightmares. You were only seven years old. What is the way forward, Mr. Sajdeva? I, uh, I won't call it a, a true justice. It'll be a pseudo justice. But the way forward is that at least the people who have something in their hearts, who, who, who still think that you know, judiciary failed that time. If judiciary can serve little justice to the victims and give them little, you know, uh, you know, they can set an example for the youth, the youngsters, and the people that country is really takes care of you people who, who abide by the citizenship. They will serve justice, though it has been delayed here, but definitely it will come one fine day and people will rest in, their, roast, their souls will really rest in peace once they know that All right. the justice has been served. All right, thank you. Let me just go across now to uh, Mr. Jasbir Singh uh, from Australia. Mr. Singh, uh, what uh, Mr. Harry Sajdeva said, one must have faith in the judiciary. Uh, it is late, but justice will be served, and only then will the souls of all those victims uh, be at peace. Your comments? No, judiciary is an important part of the democracy. Yeah. The one must have faith in the judiciary, that's true, and I agree with that. But as you look at after the British time, the morale of the city has gone down every year. Every new year brings a new downfall in the judiciary. Uh, I, I work here, I can compare the judicial system, and I can see the Indian judicial system uh, which need a proper overhauling, and uh, so many things need to be done. And uh, things are properly investigated. And these people can be caught, still caught. Uh, Indian Do you around. have any they, personal they experience? <laughs> Mr. Singh, any, any personal experience that you yourself have, uh, the way uh, Mr. Uh, Harry Sajdeva told us, you know, his own story. Do you have any uh, memories of uh, 84? Were you here in India then? No, uh, I was there, uh, but I was not in Delhi. I was in numbers of study. I was there. I met many people and one of them told me, a different story and they said uh, it was told that people are coming and uh, they were bringing uh, they they were had a guide one was and the guide was giving them the rods and the material to burn the house and uh, they were just falling out and the water just and uh, he actually sent all other members outside and and they were also hiding in the house and later on, uh, he had suffered from family members of his injured guy. And uh, then they uh, served in the camp. And what he actually told me that uh, the, some people came to the camp with the food and they wanted, okay, and they thought, okay, you can serve by yourself. And as soon as they went into the camp, the people, they were the. Uh, 
the guy from the woman and she caught hold of one of them and she was telling that he is the one who killed my son mm -hmm. and uh, after that and uh, that was very horrible thought and the people are coming and now they had to stop even the food because they thought right. the poison might be there and so these sort of things I mean, killed children who grew up in that and now they have grown up and all right. That's very hard to understand. Right. I understand. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Singh. Uh, let me go across to you, Mr. Sehgal. Uh, I was asking, what is the way forward? Uh, you know, obviously, uh, people have seen a lot. Thirty years. It's been. Yeah. It's been horrible for them. Monetary compensation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, what what next? What? How do we see the way forward? Nilanjana, now you have seen the commission. जैसे एक वो डायलॉग एक फिल्म का था सनी देओल की कि तारीख पर तारीख हाँ। तो ये कमीशन पर कमीशन पर कमीशन होते जाएंगे देखिए कोर्ट एविडेंसेस पे आपको देता है ना जी जी। जो भी जजमेंट देगा एविडेंसेस पे देगा यहाँ पर एविडेंसेस थे ही नहीं सब पुलिस जो आपकी स्टेट मशीनरी पुलिस उन्होंने सारे एविडेंसेस उस टाइम खत्म कर दिए तो कोई ऐसा वो नहीं है कि लेकिन सबको पता है कि कौन भड़का रहा था कौन उकसा रहा था कौन कैरोसिन बांट रहा था कौन वेपन्स बांट रहा था 31 अक्टूबर की रात रात को ये सबको पता है किसी को छुपा नहीं है लेकिन नानावती कमीशन ने सीधे सीधे कहा था एच के भगत को उन्होंने बरी कर दिया था और सज्जन कुमार और जगदीश शाइडलर इनके जांच होनी चाहिए क्या जांच हुई आज तक क्या जांच हुई कुछ नहीं आप एक पाँच लाख कभी तीन लाख ये कोई खैरात बांट रहे हैं आप मुआवजे से किसी का मरम ये किसी के घाव भरेंगे जिसके घर के बच्चे उसके सामने जला दिए गए हों देखिए हम छोटे थे तो हम 47 की बातें सुनते थे कि ऐसा हुआ ऐसा हुआ अब ये जैसे इन्होंने बताया कि 30 इयर्स पूरा एक जनरेशन बीत गई जो उस टाइम बच्चा पैदा हुआ था वो आज 30 साल का हो गया कईयों ने अपने देखा ही नहीं होगा अपने फादर को ही नहीं देखा होगा वो बच्चे बड़े हो गए तो ये सब जब सुनते हैं जब उनके दिल पर क्या बीतती होगी ये अपने आप एक जब तक आप इनके जो बड़े कॉन्स्पिरेटर्स जब तक उन्हें आप नहीं तो डू यू थिंक इट विल हैपन डू यू थिंक इट विल हैपन विल जस्टिस बी सर्व 30 इयर्स में नहीं हुआ हाँ. आप ये बताइए ना हाँ. 30 इयर्स में नहीं हुआ तो जब तक आप विल पावर जब तक नहीं होगी कि हमें करना है ये नहीं, अभी जो सरकार बदली है हाँ, अभी सरकार क्या लगता है देखो आपको? पहले भी एनडीए की सरकार आई थी ऐसा नहीं है कि बीच में नहीं आई बीच में भी आई है सरकार तब क्या हुआ था तब भी कुछ नहीं हुआ था पिछले 30 साल से निलाजना मैं यही कहना चाह रहा हूं कि सिर्फ पॉलिटिक्स हो रही है सिर्फ पॉलिटिक्स इलेक्शन दर इलेक्शन इसे एक इशू बनाया जाता है जो सो कॉल्ड जो कहते हैं कि हम जो इनके सिंपेथाइजर हैं जो इनकी हमदर्दी रखते हैं वो भी क्या करते हैं सिर्फ वोट्स के लिए जी मैं एक एक एग्जांपल देना चाहता हूं बहुत अच्छा एग्जांपल है 1947 में गांधी जी, जी उस टाइम भी ऐसे ही हर जगह ये हो रहा था लोग जश्न में डूबे थे लेकिन गांधी जी ऐसी जगहों पर जा रहे थे जहाँ पर ये हुआ था तो वो नौखली में गए थे नौखली में भी ऐसे ही मारा गया था लोगों को तो वहाँ पर ये साफ गांधी जी के सामने कांग्रेस के कुछ लोग आए तो इन्होंने सब पूछा कि भाई किन्नों ने मारा इन्हें तो कोई बताने वाला नहीं था गांधी जी ने कहा ठीक है मैं मान लेता हूँ आपने नहीं मारा लेकिन आप जिंदा क्यों रहे आपके सामने एक निर्दोष बच्चा मारा जा रहा है एक साल की बुजुर्ग महिला मारी जा रही है आपने क्यों नहीं बचाया उन्हें इस पॉइंट को समझिए देखिए जो भी इनके लिए पॉलिटिक्स कर रहा है उस टाइम एक कॉमन हिंदू जो था वो मदद के लिए आए जैसे कुछ आए उस टाइम अनसोशल एलिमेंट्स को पूरी खुली छूट लाइसेंस दे दिया गया था ऐसी भी स्टोरीज ये कि प्रिजन से छोड़े गए थे लोग जेलों से कुछ बहुत हार्ड कोर क्रिमिनल भी उस टाइम छोड़े गए थे इसी काम के लिए कि आप जाइए करिए उन्हें लाइसेंस था लूट का किलिंग का तो मैं वही वाली बात बता रहा हूं कि आज कोई पार्टी का ये पॉलिटिकल पार्टी कहती है कि मैं इनके हमें भाई बहुत गलत हुआ था उस टाइम आप कहाँ थे क्यों नहीं आ गया है अभी आपने देखा ये केस त्रिलोकपुरी में कुछ हिजड़े वो जो किन्नर उन्होंने आगे आके बचा लिया बचा लिया जी। आगे आके खड़े हो गए इसी तरह ये पोलिटिकल पार्टी उस टाइम कहा थी क्यों नहीं सामने आई पहले पहले हमें मारो डॉक्टर बेस डॉक्टर अमनदीप बेस यू रीजॉइन डस आई सी वी लॉस्ट यू इन द मिडल सो डू यू थिंक ऑल दैट हैज बीन हैपनिंग इन द पास थ्री डेकेड्स हैज जस्ट बीन मेयर पॉलिटिकिंग नो रियल एक्शन हैज बीन टेकिंग दैट टेकन देयर इज नो विल टू एंश्योर दैट जस्टिस इज सर्वड uh yeah this is uh, quite correct that this is all political going on and because we are a big uh, democracy 
so uh, everyone whosoever speak they are just speaking according to their uh, own votes and the other things um i think this is our own battle and we should do two things uh, one we should keep on continue uh, this our own battle yeah. and second thing we should make sure uh, and we should come forward for the other people because what happened in punjab is happening elsewhere as well right so uh, this should not happen to any other community and uh, we should be working for them uh, for them as well and uh, i think we should continue with our battle as the petition is in now in un and in other uh, parliaments as well so we should keep on protesting and making uh, this you issue so that pressure, this yes. should never happen again with any community right uh, mr harry sajdeva let me just uh, quickly take ask you a question before i will uh, you know go across to uh, some other people who talk about their memories of 1984 you know the fact sure. that you are releasing the film now has it something yeah. to do with the change of the government in the center do you feel more confident that you can release the film now that the, the fact that the film will be allowed to be screened in various theaters across the country now that there is a change in the government at the center definitely yes sir definitely yes <laughs> i really have high hopes with this government maybe they'll help us have the justice but to be frank and honest when i was shooting in punjab yeah i my sets was all, almost been broken twice uh so that but, time the elections were not just happened it wasn't the may or may but i'm quite confident that post that i could be having a lot of support and lot of lot of my brothers to come forward to help me release this film and bring it the actual actual thing which happened that unfaithful night to the audience worldwide you know mr sagal also pointed out that there was nda rule in between what was the government what was the nda government doing then where was justice then so what do you have to say about that the fact that it's taken so long for justice and justice has still not been served your voice is cracking can you repeat the question please i'm saying that mr sehgal just pointed out that we did have an nda government in the in in, in the middle before uh, yeah. before the 10 years of upa rule we had an nda government and where was justice then why was not justice meted out then The, is it only politics have, i i'll call it a politics but there are many questions like this why wasn't the army called on that particular night on 31st why was the army called on first why did the army came on 3rd of november there are millions and why did the commission number 1 fail why did the nanavati commission fail then all the commission fail now we ask you for another commission to happen hmm. the question is what happened you really can't change it hmm. in the past but now when you're sitting in the present i think concentrate here we should try and help all get together get the evidences in place and up the time for prosecution is there we right. already have lot of report to all the commissions we should start straight away go to the prosecution get this people uh uh framed for the charges for whatever wrong they did to be punished give whatever justice can be given to the people the victims they should be immediately given that this all right my- Thanks, 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 Mr. Sajdeva. Okay, let me just uh, uh, move on now. Let's get you some uh, uh, voices of the people who remember what happened 30 years back and how they react to uh, what happened 30 years back. Take a look. मेरे तीन लड़के मारे गए, एक मेरा भाई मारा गया, एक-एक मकान के ऊपर दो-दो सौ आदमी, तीन-तीन सौ आदमी घरों के अंदर हमारे बच्चे बैठे थे, उनको खींच-खींच के भालू से सरे आम कतले आम कर दिया किसकी बाजू काट दी किसका गला काट दिया किसको सरिया मार के सर फाड़ दिया हमारी जो बत्तीस ब्लॉक की लाइन थी वो पूरी खूनों खून हो गई थी पथरा हो फिर बहुत लड़ाई वड़ाई हुई सारे ने कहता अपने अपने घर बैठ जाओ ऐसे बैठ के अंदर फिर उन्होंने आके और लड़ाई आग दे मूड लै लैके उन्होंने और जला देते और तो का साथ इतना इतना नंगा उन्होंने किया हमने खुद आंखों से देखा है बेटा हमने हमारे छोटे छोटे बच्चे थे मेरे चार बच्चे थे इतने इतने कोई दो साल का था कोई ढाई का था कोई छः महीने का था इतना था कपड़े भी नहीं थे हमारे तन पे फेरने को मारा इन्होंने दंगा मार के लाशा ट्रकों में ले गए ट्रकों से जाके निकले उ निकाले गए उ निकलिया उ फिर आए चलते चलते आए अपने थाने थाने वालों ने भी नहीं 
रोक के उन्होंने भैया को बिठा देना उन्होंने भी धक्का मार के निकाल दिया दो भाई के मेरे चौरासी काल में तीसरे दिन के बाद मेरे भाई को मिलिट्री आने वाली थी खम्बे के साथ जलाया मैंने अपनी आँखों से देखा मुझे सब कुछ होश है तीन दिन के बाद कहते हैं पड़ोसियों ने नहीं मारा लेकिन पड़ोसियों ने ही जलाया था अभी तक कुछ भी नहीं मिला हमारे को ना सजा मिली कहते लोग सज्जड़ को मारने मारे टेटल ने मारा कुछ सजा नहीं मिली उनको भाई को आग लगा दी झुग्गी में ही सारे बर्तन बर्तन भी लूट गए सारा कुछ भी नहीं मिला हमें तो चौरासी में हमारे तो बच्चे भी उठा के पता नहीं कहाँ कहाँ ले गए थे किसी ने सुना ही नहीं करी हमारी आज तक सुना ही नहीं हुई और कुछ नहीं चाहिए इंसाफ सर सजल कुमार को इसको फांसी चाहिए टर्टल को फांसी चाहिए इनको फांसी दो फिर हम जाके साफ करके हमारी बुरा हाल है हमारे चरों से वालों का हॉरिफिक स्टोरीज देर हॉरिफिक मेमोरीज पीपल रिमेंबरिंग देर ओन किथ एंड किल किन बींग किल्ड राइट इन फ्रंट ऑफ देर ओन आईज Mr Singh once again i mean i think the the question i asked right at the beginning how can you ever erase that listening to these people i really don't think you can mr jasbir singh okay. you some of the stories that we just heard uh, of people who remember their kids and kin been killed uh, i don't think those memories can really ever go away No, that's not possible. I mean, uh, those people who are very blessed, uh, their memories might be erased, and uh, they can live a life happily. But others will suffer throughout the life, and it's uh, not easy to forget. No. Regarding the forgetfulness, so the only uh, way, the only way much. people can can rest is the the, the souls can rest, yeah. the families uh, can feel better, or they can they can. think of moving on with their lives is when the perpetrators are punished no amount of monetary compensation can do this right that that seems to be the consensus here on this show am i right yes right okay okay dr bass dr amandeep bass uh, tell us i mean is is that also what you think the only way for people to move on is to see people who were responsible uh, and and how many people have been named in the fir more than 200 If I are, me to there are more than two hundred names. May I interrupt you? Yeah, it's not only this plan, not only this genocide. Yeah. It's for the justice system. If these people are not prosecuted, the justice system will not work properly. Absolutely. And that will affect all of the cases. Right. Right. Yeah. Milanes में three thousand eighty one people उस time arrest हुए थे. जी जी जी. है ना? जी. तो उसमें आप देखिए कितने convict अभी तक तीन हजार में से कितने ज्यादा छूट गए हुई थी yes, 363 थ्री हुए right. तो उसमें अभी तक आपको कितने 49 आप 442 आप ये कहते हैं कि कन्विक्टेड हुए और उसमें से सिर्फ 49 को लाइफ टर्म और उसमें भी जो तीन को वो मिली है दस साल से ऊपर की तो वो भी इन टू थाउजेंड एंड टू देर दिया था जी। इतना ये लोग हुआ है। जी। अब अब ये जो डिमांड हो रही है देखिये अब जो आप जस्टिस की बात कर रही है की इसमें से टू थर्टी सेवन केसेज को कहा गया की री इन्वेस्टिगेट किया जाए जिनमें लोगों को छोड़ दिया गया है अभी ये डिमांड उठी है अगर ये गवर्नमेंट आई है सही तरीके से करना चाहती है जस्टिस तो सिर्फ मुआवजे से कुछ नहीं होगा आपको पूरे के पूरे केसेस की दोबारा से जिनमें लोगों को छोड़ दिया गया उन्हें आप 237 केसेस को री इन्वेस्टिगेट करिए पूरी ठीक तरीके से जांच करिए तब उसके बाद लोगों को लगेगा और जो बड़े नाम हैं जो जैसे मैं पहले भी कह रहा था वो करें एक दिलांजा में एक बड़ी एक अच्छी आपको बात बताना चाहता हूँ बिहार का मुजफ्फरपुर एरिया है वहाँ पर एक डोली सकरा गाँव है यहाँ की दिल्ली की बात तो हम सब जानते हैं कि सिख क्या हुआ वहाँ पर क्या हुआ मैं वो बड़ा एक जो मैं कह रहा हूँ ना मदर ऑफ ऑल कवर अप वहाँ पर डोली सकरा में कुछ सिख फैमिलीज रहती थी उनकी दुकानों को जला दिया गया अच्छा जब वहाँ पे मुआवजा बांटा गया जब पहले उस, उस टाइम पे 91 85 में तो थोड़ा 91 वन में बिहार में बांटा गया तो उन्हें जैसे नुकसान हुआ था उनका बहुत ज़्यादा तो किसी को हज़ार रुपये किसी को पंद्रह सौ उन्होंने सब रिफ्यूज़ कर दिया ठीक है 91 में उनके रिकॉर्ड में अब वो हुआ कि इन्होंने मुआवजा दिया ही नहीं गया अब जब 2006 में जब मनमोहन सिंह गवर्नमेंट ने मुआवजा दिया तो उन्हें कहा गया आपको पहले वाली दिखाइए कहाँ पे मुआवजा मिला था उन्हें माना ही नहीं गया 
बिकती भी नहीं माना गया देखिए उन्हें उन्हें एक पैसा नहीं मिला जो आप मुआवजा 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 सब कहते हैं ना उन्हें आज तक तीस साल में एक पैसा उन उन फैमिलीज को नहीं मुआवजा मिला और वो बेचारे दर दर ठग बिहार और बिहार गवर्नमेंट के चीफ सेक्रेटरी ने उनसे कहा था जब उन्हें ये बताया गया कि पंजाब में ये हुआ है तो कह रहे हैं पंजाब चले जाइए आप यहाँ क्यों रह रहे हैं बिहार में माई गुडनेस All right before i take uh, final comments from all of you let's take a look at what some of the people are saying on how they feel they will be able to move forward hamare yahan ke ladke sare nashe mein pad gaye theek hai sarkar ne hame bola ki 5 lakh 5 lakh rupees se hamara kya hoga hame 5 lakh rupees nahi chahiye hame paisa nahi chahiye hame insaaf chahiye jo hamari education kharab hui jo hamari peedi kharab ho rahi hai jo hamari peedi nashe mein pad rahi hai jinko kuch aata jata nahi jinki लगातार फैमिली बढ़ती जा रही है हमें कोई कमाई का जरिया नहीं है हम कैसे कमाएं कैसे खाएं All right. So as we heard, there generations for for several families, generations have been lost, not just one generation. And they are saying that five lakh rupees also uh, does not matter. What they really want is justice. All right. Let me take final comments from Dr. Bess. The way forward, as we all agreed, is that are you optimistic? Are you optimistic that finally? the perpetrators will be brought to justice dr amandeep can you hear me okay i think there's an audio problem let me move okay yeah go ahead okay dr bess uh, i think I think we're having an audio problem, Dr. Bess. We'll just try and get back to you. We're having an audio problem with your uh, uh, in your connection. Let me uh, take final comments from Harry Sajdeva. Uh, Harry, first of all, congratulations uh, on uh, completing the film. All the best for its uh, release in Berlin, and uh, subsequently, of course, whenever it releases in India, we will look forward to it. Your final comments and your any message that you have for our viewers on India Post Live. Definitely, definitely. I'll, I'll, I'll like to say this, this message is not for Indians, not for it's for the whole country. Yeah. This, this, this for you know, and then no good to the community, country, or the humanity. I think then we should sensible now. We should not repeat it anywhere. Let it be Bosnia, let it be Cambodia, let it be Uganda. This should only loss of human lives, the value of human lives. We should respect that, and we should all live like humans rather than. बर्लिन फिल्म फेस्टिवल आफ्टर विच वी शैल बी एबल टू वॉच इट इन इंडिया एज वेल द फिल्म स्टार सोहा एंड वीर दास ओके सर फाइनल कॉमेंट्स फ्रॉम यू मिस्टर जसबीर सिंह जलगावरफुल and no one even investigated them and uh, chila hon kan in haryana there was a uh, uh, the whole village was burnt and it was kept secret and uh, left came the news few years back and you know who is there it was sajjan kumar janake uh, and uh, these things can be easily actually correlated and the regarding the given from from is very good thing And uh, we should even forgive the right Guru Nanak Bhagat, forgive the Sajjan Thakur people. And this is a very grateful of the Sikhs. But these went, these things people don't even admit that this is a genocide and these people need to be prosecuted. Who who can we forget? Right. That's very common thing. Forgiving is a man great heart forgive. But this is totally unfair and people don't even admit. And uh, there are children going. And the Islam area, and if you read the book of Jamal Singh, the, the I accuse. Uh, he mentioned the story, the people, the young generation right. are trapped by the 
targeted by the megalers and living in very miserable life. Right. So people should admit, and as Harry said, nobody should, you know, people should respect human lives and not just think of community. All right. Thank you so much. Uh, let me get final comments from you, sir. Finally, at the end of this entire discussion that we have. 84 wale jo victims hai, main jaise politics hi baat kar raho. Ab kya hua? 2002 ho gaya. Ab jab bhi Congress se baat ki jaati hai, to 2002 mein aa jata hai. कोई अपनी बारी मानते हैं कुछ नहीं करते क्या करते हैं तो वो ना पॉलिटिकल टूल बना लिया वो वो 84 का देने लगते हैं एग्जांपल वो 2002 का देने लगते हैं तो यहाँ पे वो जस्टिस है ही नहीं वही मैं कह रहा हूँ सिर्फ पॉलिटिक्स 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 तो मुआवजा ये भी वही कर रहे हैं मुआवजा � all right, thank you so much. I would like to thank all my guests. Mr. Jasbir Singh, who joined us all the way. It must be late in the night for him over there. Thank you so much, sir, for joining us on India Post Live with your comments. Harry Sachdeva, the producer of the soon-to-be-released 31st October. Uh, of course, uh, Amandeep Singh Bess, who joined us from Ludhiana. We couldn't get your audio in the end, but thank you so much. Uh, for your comments and it was great having you on the show and of course senior, senior journalist and uh, uh, deshnama.com blogger of deshnama.com uh, Mr. Sehgal, Mr. Khushdeep Sehgal also joined us. Thank you so much. It was Thank great you. having you and uh, the way forward as everybody said is uh, to get justice. Monetary compensation is not enough for the families of the victims and uh, that is the only way forward and as Mr. Sajdeva said let us respect human life and let us respect each other. Thank you so much for watching. We look forward to your comments and your views on IndiaPostLive.com and hashtag IndiaPostLive and at the rate IndiaPostLive. Thanks. Bye-bye.